the next thing I'd like to talk about would be importing and exporting in QuickBooks. QuickBooks has the capability to allow you to import transactions and you can also export transactions. So importing transactions means that you will pull transactions from another file and insert them into QuickBooks. Exporting transactions is meaning, meaning that you will take a report from QuickBooks and export it or send it to another program like Excel. So, in order to import transactions, you would let me tell you some of the things, some of the types of transactions that you can import into QuickBooks. You can import an Excel spreadsheet. It's not that easy, but it's possible. You can also import files that's called like IIF files. These files usually come from accounts like there are some payroll services that allow you to download IIF files and there are also if you use PayPal you can insert PayPal transactions into QuickBooks and they are downloaded into IIF files. The other types of files that you can import into QuickBooks are web content files and these files are from your bank account so if you have a bank account that supports downloads into QuickBooks when you download those transactions it will download it into a file that's called, it's a web content file it usually saves with an extension QBO and those files can be imported into QuickBooks so very quickly I'd like to show you where you would go to import your files into QuickBooks you will go to your file menu, come down to utilities, and when you go to utilities that gives you another menu. You come over to import and then you select the type of file that you're importing. It's pretty simple and because we don't we don't have any files for this with the sample company that we can import, I won't go any further, but you just select the type of file that you're importing and of course it means that you have already downloaded this file somewhere else. So it may be on your desktop or saved in my documents. And from there, you just pull the file and import it into QuickBooks. Pretty simple, especially downloading your bank transactions. It will save you a ton of time by downloading those web content files and importing them into QuickBooks. So that's importing. Now let's talk about exporting because this is the fun stuff. Let's go back to our report menu, our report center. And from the report center, what we will do is we'll just pull a report. And any of these reports can be exported from QuickBooks. So we pull our profit and loss statement, and the profit and loss statement is for this particular month. So what you can do is you can take this and export it into Excel. So if you needed to add additional columns or maybe manipulate the numbers for whatever the reason is, or if you're sending this information to someone and they needed to manipulate the numbers, you can export it to Excel and, you know, and they don't have to have QuickBooks. So you just very simply click here to export. And when you click export, a window comes up. And let me just explain this window. So you have the options of exporting it to a CSV file. You can export it to a new Excel worksheet. Or if you wanted it to be an additional sheet on an existing workbook, you would select that. We're going to export it to a new Excel worksheet. Now here's something else I want to show you. This right here, selecting or deselecting this box will just depend. You can have it send the, the instructions to when you export it but if you know what you're doing you don't need them to send you the instruction so you want to deselect that box okay now clicking on the advanced tab just gives you some additional features if you want to preserve the fonts and the colors you would leave that selected the row height spaces between the columns this is I'll do it both ways so you can see the difference so We'll, we'll say the first time that we'll have spaces in between the columns. And here are some other features that you can have where it will auto fit, freeze the panes, show the grid lines, um, 
auto outline auto filtering again I'll leave it at the default and you can play around with this when you get ready to so we click export and when we click export it will send this to Excel and it will open it up in a new Excel workbook and when it opens up in Excel you have free reign to do whatever it is that you want to do with your Excel document okay so if you wanted to insert columns you could if you wanted to add some information in this column you could do that as well is your Excel spreadsheet you can do whatever you want with it so I'm going to close that and we now we don't want to save it so now I want to export it this time without the spaces just so that you can see the difference and again we're going to do it into a new workbook so we click export So that is importing and exporting transactions in QuickBooks. Another thing that you can export, you can also export your list. So for instance, let's say if you have your chart of accounts already set up, your customer list, your vendor list, your other names list, and you wanted to create a whole new QuickBooks file because your file was messed up. But you didn't want to take the time to have to re-enter every single customer and every single vendor. Well, the good news is that you can export your list. And by exporting your list, this will allow you to import those lists into a new company. So the same thing, you would go here to Utilities and Export, and you would say Export List to IIF Files. So you can select the list that you've already created. So we created a chart of accounts, a customer list, vendor list, employee list, other names, <coughs> class. I'm going to select everything. That way you don't lose anything. So this is one way to start fresh but not have to redo everything. So if we click OK, we can say we can name it whatever we want to name it. So I'm just going to name it Rock List. Cuz that the, the name of the company is Rock Castle. And we go save. and now it is saving our list and if we wanted to import that list we would go back to utilities and import an IIF file and this is the file that we will select and we click OK and now it is importing the file so the same if you were downloading your information from PayPal or um, any other system that supports IIF files, you would do the same thing. This is importing and exporting in QuickBooks. data has been imported.